Noah, the man who obeyed when it didn't make sense. Noah was a man who made God happy. But at that time, everyone else in the whole world made God sad. They disobeyed God. They were mean to each other. They argued. They fought. They made God so sad that he was sorry he even made people. The world was ruined, completely ruined. God made a big decision. God said to Noah, Noah, I'm going to send water to flood the whole earth and everything and everyone will die. I will start over. But Noah, I will save you and your wife and your sons and their wives because you obey me and you make me smile. So Noah, I want you to build a huge ark. That's a big, big boat. Out of wood. Yes, sir, God. Hammer, hammer, hammer. But it didn't matter to Noah that he didn't understand exactly what was going to happen. Everything God did was right. So whatever God said, Noah said, Yes, sir, God, and did it. Noah, make the ark this high and this long. Yes, sir, God. Pound, pound, pound. Noah, make a roof and a door in the ark right in this exact spot. Yes, sir, God. Saw, saw, saw. Noah, I want you to bring into the ark one pair of every kind of animal, one boy and one girl. Whoa! Can you imagine getting inside a boat with two of every animal? Two elephants, two giraffes, two hippos, two flamingos, two chickens, two dogs, two lions, two cheetahs, two bears, two everything? Plus all their food. How was Noah going to do that? But even to this, Noah's response was, Yes, sir, God. Did you notice that Noah didn't say, God, can I put the window here instead? Or, God, is it okay if I only bring one lion? Lions are kind of loud and that hurts my ears. No, Noah just obeyed God. During all this time, when Noah's neighbors saw him building that huge boat, and when all those animals were coming to Noah's boat, the neighbors laughed and made fun of him. But Noah just kept obeying God every day, day after day, year after year. It took a long, long time to build that ark. Noah's obedience and faith was proving that those people did deserve God's punishment. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Noah and his household went into the ark with all the animals. Only those inside the ark would be saved. Then God closed the door. God would keep them safe inside the ark. It started to rain and rain and rain and rain. The water got higher, higher, higher until the whole earth was covered with water, even the highest mountains. Every living creature that roamed the earth died, except for Noah's family and the animals in the ark. Finally, the rain stopped and slowly the water sunk lower, lower, lower. But how would they know when it was safe to come out of the ark? Well, Noah opened the window of the ark and sent out birds. One of the birds was a dove. The first time he sent out the dove, it came right back that very night. It couldn't find a place to land. The second time he sent out the dove, it came back with a green olive leaf in its beak. Noah and his family were so happy. That beautiful leaf proved there was new life. It was proof they were safe from God's judgment. That little bird had brought back in its mouth a little piece of hope for the future. The next time Noah sent out the dove, it didn't come back at all. Now Noah knew that the little dove had found food and a safe home on the earth again. It was time to open up the ark. When Noah and his family got out of the ark, the first thing they did was make an offering to God, burning their gifts on an altar. It smelled so good 
that it soothe, soothe, soothe God's heart. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never do that again. I won't curse the ground or destroy all the animals and living things just because of man's badness. Then God blessed Noah and his family. God made an agreement with Noah and with all living creatures. God promised that even though there would be clouds and rain again sometimes, he would never completely destroy the earth with water again. Noah and his family then looked up into the sky and saw something they had never seen before. From one end of the sky to the other, there were beautiful stripes, stripes of red, then orange, then yellow, then green, blue, purple. Do you know what it was? A rainbow. The rainbow was the sign God put in the cloudy sky to help Noah and all of us remember God's promise. Noah and his family liked that rainbow sign, and they liked that agreement. Noah obeyed God even though all the things God told him to do didn't necessarily make sense to him. Do you know why Noah did that? Because he trusted and respected God.